Hey guys, welcome back. Today's episode, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be swimming jigs. Uh, not just any jig. This is a lock em up jig from Paul, lock em up lures. Uh, it's a jig that was specifically designed by me. And it's supposed to mimic a bluegill. It has the orange underbelly and the green top and the bluegill pattern within. And it's an excellent jig for swimming, as you're going to see here in just a few minutes. Um, I tend to use the skinny dipper from Reaction Innovations on the back of it for a trailer. I'll also use the Torque model Crawdad from Reaction Innovations. Those just seem to be two that really work well. It complements this jig really well. Um, if you guys don't mind, please subscribe to these videos. It helps me in producing this content. And you can find this jig and several others like it at gasfishingstore.com. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. Lake. My boat actually went off into the water by itself and I had to swim out to get it. It's a nice 38 degrees right now. I'm absolutely frozen. And I didn't think I'd get bit early, but I've already caught one on the uh, lock em up jig, so I decided to start turning this camera on. I figured it'd be a little early. But we'll see how these fish are. I don't get to fish down here very often. I was just swimming this jig just like a bluegill would be swimming across the top of the water and one came up and got it. He was only about 13, 14 inches, so nothing to get crazy about, but at least I know they'll bite us early this morning. You can see it was foggy. It was extremely foggy this morning when I launched that boat, and like I said, I had to hurry up and strip down and go down and out and find it. I hear a little quiver in my voice. It's because I'm still, my teeth are chattering. A smarter person would have already gone back to the truck and stayed in or went back home, but can't disappoint Toby, right, Toby? All right. Just lost him. I'm swimming that jig like so, and they're really liking that. It's almost just jumping it out of the water, and they're hitting it as soon as it falls back in. And like I said, I think it has a lot to do with that bluegill color. Something I love to do is swim a jig by a log and then drop it down afterwards. <sighs> Works lots of times. So it's a pretty good swim jig too. Alright guys, if you notice you just fish really fast through here. This is the fall time, so these fish could be anywhere and they're chasing. They're not holding on to anything specific. So just cast, cast, and then do some more casting and then reel in. As quickly as you can, these fish can catch up to you no matter how fast you reel in. Swim jig, little bitty, but hey, 
It's so much fun. Isn't it? Isn't it, Toby? Oh man, we lost him again. Toby, I can't even catch him. There he is. Golly. That one's over 16 inches. I couldn't even catch up to that sucker. That's a nice one there. It's a big one, isn't it? Oh, we're going to get him. It's a good one. Couldn't tell how big he was because he's running 100 mile an hour. Toby, you lost him again. Right here is going to end up being the shot of the day. It's an unfortunate shot. It ended up being the biggest fish of the two days that I fished with this particular jig this way. And you'll see right here in about two seconds what I'm talking about. And it shoots the water droplet right there on the camera. So this ended up being my biggest fish. It was a little bit over three pounds. It was a nice one. But I wish you could have seen it. And there's no way of editing that off there, that water droplet. So I didn't realize it, obviously, at the time, but it is what it is. So hope you really enjoyed this. I'm going to do a flipping video soon with this particular jig, and I have several more videos coming out over the course of the next few weeks. Thanks for watching, guys.